Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Masabuti Kun's Revenge Episode 5. Now, I do apologize again if you only see like two images because I'm trying to keep it safe with my whole other copyright strike against me. Uh, I want to get rid of that first before I start going back to my usual style of doing, you know, several images and talk about an episode in like greater detail. But um, it really wasn't that hard to really talk about this episode because... Essentially, what happens in this episode is that we, we have a continuation, of course, of what happened last week where we have this girl that talks to Masamune after um, the whole almost car accident from last week's episode that, you know, the car almost hit Aki and then this girl jumps out and starts, you know, jumping on um, Masamune and he's like, oh, she's like, oh, I love you, you know, I'm so glad we got to see each other again, etc. Uh, we find out more about this girl in the course of this episode and we find out that she did meet him at one point when she was younger. And it looks like maybe like three or four years ago at most, maybe more than that, but at least that she does know him. But what she's telling people is a very different story of how they met. And he doesn't remember meeting her at all. Her name is apparently like something Neko. I'm just going to call her Neko regardless because, I mean, come on. Who has a last name Neko? Like, so her last name's Cat, literally? That's kind of cool. Um, So I'm just going to call her Neko from here on out. I mean, it's probably one of the easiest names for me to remember for her. Um... But what's what's funny, of course, is that, you know, Aki gets very pissed off during this whole episode because, of course, hey, you know, this girl likes you, and, and obviously she's jealous about that. I mean, to the point that she starts avoiding him nonstop. He tries his best to kind of, like, make her talk to him, but she doesn't want any of that. Um, what's great is at one point, and this is probably toward the end of the episode, where, you know, she he finally starts running her down the hallway, and she, like, gets so pissed off that she, like, ends up swinging her arm backwards when she was expressing herself, hitting a gym teacher in the face. And I was like, oh, that's, that's great. So it causes them to actually have to really talk to one another at the uh, pool, which is a very interesting sequence. As you see from this picture, it leads up to a very interesting moment, but at the pool... Um, you know, he, he starts playing with her by shooting water at her and stuff like that. And she tries to take a giant bucket of water and accidentally throw it on him. But ends up falling into the, the, the uh, pool itself. And she can't swim, apparently. So he jumps in after her, only to realize it's, it's like, you know, knee-deep water. Like, you could stand up in it. It's not a big deal. And that's where they have, like, a little tiny argument and stuff like that. And he wonders, too. Like, he goes, why do I care so much if she doesn't talk to me? Like, why do I care if she's like this and that? Masamune, it's because she's, you know, you fall in love with her, dude, obviously, come on. And, you know, Aki also is clearly falling in love with him because she goes, well, you know, if you really do like me after he says that he does like her because he's trying to save her, she goes, you, you could kiss me. And I'm like, that's how that ended up at the end of the episode. I'm like, really? That's how you end the episode? Damn. That's messed up. I wanted to see what happened next. I really, I, I didn't like how they ended it. But, you know, overall, this was probably the better episode of Masamune Kun so far. Uh, I did enjoy it. I think it was really a lot of fun. Um, it was, the uh, the story with Neko and Masamune, I really hope they explain, you know, actually go into detail with that at one point. I think that was probably one of the weakest points of this whole episode, is that whole sequence of, you know, him trying to learn the truth about her. But she's like, I'm not, I don't want to tell you because it's kind of embarrassing, etc. And that was probably the only part I didn't like because I kind of zoned out almost during that sequence. It was so, just, it just didn't feel like, it felt a little too generic for its taste. But anyways, guys and girls, I hope you enjoy this anime review. As always, if you do, you know what to do. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great, pleasant day, everyone. Bye-bye.